tell you stories and I'll make you laugh cause you're my friend. Hi, this is Cricket talking to ya. It's so nice to see you again. We've been invited to a party. Is that exciting or what? I just love parties. Don't you? They're so much fun. We've got a lot to do to get ready. So let's get started. Wrapped in ribbons and bows We're going to a party Shout hooray hooray We're going to a party It's a very special day We got an invitation Soon we're invited To a celebration I am so excited Yes I am We're gonna wear our party hats And party clothes We're gonna take a present Wrapped in ribbons and bows Everybody has a party once a year on their birthday. I love birthday parties. There's cake and ice cream and presents and lots of games to play. Want to hear a story about my last birthday? <laughs> I'll never forget it. About a week before the big day, my mom told me to think of something really special I wanted to do. So I went into my room and I closed the door and I thought really, really hard. I know, I said to myself. I want to go to the zoo. I just love zoos, don't you? Especially the petting zoo, where you can pet all the baby animals and even feed them sometimes. Are they cute or what? So I told my mom, and can you believe it? She said, the zoo it is. Golly gee, I said to myself, I can't wait. This is going to be the greatest birthday ever. Well, finally, after a whole week, it was the day. And was I excited? Mom said we'd go in the morning. So right after breakfast, I started asking if it was time yet. Soon, my mom said, but first I need some help in the yard. Golly gee, I thought, when are we going to get to go to the zoo? But I helped anyway. When we finished in the yard, I said, now can we go? Soon, my mom said, but first I need your help in the garage. Golly gee, I thought, when are we going to get to go to the zoo? But I helped anyway. When we finished in the garage, I said, Now can we go? Soon, my mom said. But first, Mrs. Griffin needs your help next door. Golly gee, I thought. When are we ever going to get to go to the zoo? But anyway, I went across our front yard, around the fence, to Mrs. Griffin's gate, and up to her front door. And picture this. Even before I could knock, Mrs. Griffin opened the door and took me inside. Then I heard, surprise, surprise. You guessed it. It was a surprise birthday party for me. All my friends were there, and we had cake and ice cream. My mom was there, too. And she said what a hard time she had keeping me busy till the party. Everybody laughed. And then the neatest thing of all happened. We all went to the zoo. So even if your birthday isn't turning out the way you planned, that's okay, because whatever you do, your birthday is always a special day just for you. Here's one of the games we played at my surprise party. It's a rhyming game, and you can play it with me now. When I say the words a big gray, you say cat. Are we going to have fun or what? When I went out this morning to sweep my welcome mat, who do you think was sitting there, a big gray? Did you say cat? Remember... When I say a big gray, you say cat. I went to bed and heard a noise. It went a pitter-pat. Who do you think was on my roof? A big gray. When I got up next morning and went to get my hat, who do you think was wearing it? A big gray. Now this is the last verse. We'll say the ending together. He liked my hat. He liked my roof. He liked my welcome mat. Now guess who lives at my house? A big gray cat. All right, was that great or what? My friends Cindy Lou and Trish were both at my surprise party. But Cindy Lou wanted to sing songs. And 
Trish wanted to play games. Wait a minute, I said. It's my birthday, and I want to do both. So we did, and you can too. Here is how. When I sing, clap your hands, you clap your hands two times. When I sing, stomp your feet, you stomp your feet two times. Let's do it. If you're glad and you know it, clap your hands. If you're glad and you know it, clap your hands. If you're glad and you know it, then you really ought to show it. If you're glad and you know it, clap your hands. If you're mad and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're mad and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're mad and you know it, then you really ought to show it. If you're mad and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're sad and you know it, wipe your eyes. Boo hoo! If you're sad and you know it, wipe your eyes. Boo hoo! If you're sad and you know it, then you really ought to show it. If you're sad and you know it, wipe your eyes. If you're silly and you know it, be a nut. If you're silly and you know it, be a nut. If you're silly and you know it, then you really ought to show it. If you're silly and you know it, be a nut. <laughs> I have a friend named Patty Porter. Last week, I went to her birthday party. And I got a great idea for a time twister. Here's what you do. Say Patty Porter's party three times as fast as you can. Like this. Patty Porter's party pet. Patty Purdy, Purdy Pet. <laughs> I can't do it. I'll have to practice slowly for a while. Now you try it. See Patty Porter's party three times as fast as you can. Go ahead. <laughs> you can ask your friends to try it. It's fun. Here's a game that's lots of fun to play at parties. It's called Wiggle Worm. Would you like to play? All right, here's what you do. Listen to the wiggle worm. When he says wiggle, you wiggle all over. Keep wiggling till he says stop. Then hold real still till he tells you to wiggle again. Here we go. Wiggle worm says, wiggle. That's it, keep wiggling. Now stop. I hope you're standing perfectly still. Wiggle Worm says, Wiggle. Stop. Don't move. Don't move. Don't move. Wiggle Worm says, Wiggle. Hold it, hold it, hold it. No, not yet. Wiggle Worm says, wiggle. Are you a wiggly little worm or what? Let's play dress up. You can comb my hair and get me all ready for a party. And I'll tell you a story. Once upon a time, there was a little girl named Cinderella who went to a party. Cinderella lived with two stepsisters who were always telling her what to do. One day, the stepsisters were invited to a big party given by the little prince who lived next door. They were so excited, they could hardly stand it. Cinderella said the first stepsister, Come and iron my party dress. Cinderella said the second stepsister, Come and polish my party shoes. Now wait a minute, you two, said Cinderella. I'd be happy to help you, but you must say please and thank you. Please, Cinderella, said the first stepsister. Please, Cinderella, said the second stepsister. Why, I'd be happy to help you, said Cinderella. Thank you, said the first stepsister. Thank you, said the second stepsister. You're very welcome, I'm sure, said Cinderella, and I hope you both have a wonderful time. After her stepsisters left, Cinderella said to herself, Golly gee, I kind of wish I could go to that party too, but I have nothing to wear. Just then there was a loud poof and a pink cloud of smoke.
Donald filled the room. There stood Cinderella's fairy godmother. Hello, dearie, she said. So you need a dress to wear to the party? Step into it. And with a poof, Cinderella was wearing a beautiful gown. How about a coach? Said a fairy godmother. Poof. There was a coach. Now for the shoes, said the fairy godmother. And with another poof, Cinderella was wearing a pair of perfect glass slippers. One last thing, dearie, said the fairy godmother. You've got to be home by midnight. That's when everything goes back to the way it was. Have a good time. And with one last poof, she was gone. Cinderella didn't even have time to say thank you. Well, thought Cinderella, at least I'll have my comfortable old clothes back at midnight. When Cinderella arrived at the party, everybody stopped and stared. Her two stuck-up stepsisters didn't even recognize her. The little prince was so enchanted, they danced and played party games all evening long. But then it was almost midnight, and time for Cinderella to go home. Goodbye, Cinderella said to the prince. I had a really terrific time. And before the prince could stop her, she ran out of the gate and down the steps and all the way home. She was so tired, she went straight to bed and fell asleep and didn't even notice that she'd lost one of her perfect glass slippers. The next morning, there came a knock on the door. And who do you think it was? You guessed it. It was the little prince. And what do you think he had in his hand? You guessed it again. The glass slipper. Good morning, ladies, said the little prince. I'm looking for the owner of this slipper. Perhaps it belongs to one of you. The prince tried the slipper on the first stepsister, but of course it didn't fit her. Then the prince tried the slipper on the second stepsister, but of course it didn't fit her. Then the prince said, Cinderella, why don't you try on the slipper? But Cinderella just said, I'm not a glass slipper kind of girl. The prince tried the slipper on her anyway, and of course it fit. So the prince said, oh, please, Cinderella, won't you come back to the palace and stay a while? We could have so much fun. Thank you very much, said Cinderella, but I wouldn't like living in a palace all the time. But when she saw the prince looking sad, she said, tell you what, though, I'll come over and visit a lot if you come and visit me, too. That way we'll have twice as many things to do. Well, the little prince thought that was the best idea he'd ever heard. So Cinderella and the prince said goodbye to the two stuck-up stepsisters and went to the park across the street, had a picnic and played on the swings and all kinds of fun things like that. Was that a swell story or what? You know, anything good that happens can be a reason for a party. It could be a birthday or a holiday or getting a good grade in school or just because it's a nice day. I know, let's celebrate being friends and getting to spend the day together. Here's how we make it official. All we gotta do is say, hip hip hooray three times, and the third time say, hip hip hooray for us. Let's do it. Hip hip hooray, hip hip hooray, hip hip hooray for us. <laughs> Are we great or what? I'm so glad you're my friend, and I'm real happy we're having a party to celebrate it. Tell you what, Let's sing we're going to a party. I hope you remember it. If you don't, listen to me one time and then join in. Here we go. We're gonna wear our party hats and party clothes. We're gonna take a present wrapped in ribbons and bows. We're going to a party, shout hooray, hooray. We're going to a party, it's a very special day. We're gonna wear our party hats and party clothes. We're gonna take a present wrapped in ribbons and bows. We're going to a party, shout hooray, hooray. We're going to a party, it's a very special day. Hey, if you'd like to go to a party with me now, please turn my tape over. We'll play lots of party games and sing songs and have all kinds of fun. Or you can just talk to me for a while and I'll listen. I'm so glad you're my friend. And remember, I'll be talking to ya.